What's going on guys, Gels from Fitment Industries, and today I actually don't know what's going on. Greg pulled me aside and said, Gels, we have an idea that was submitted by a subscriber of ours, we're gonna roll with it. So Greg, what do we got going on today? So, what am I, what am I here for, Greg, exactly? Because you didn't tell me anything, you just told me to grab my coffee and stand in front of a camera. So yeah, we actually had a really cool idea um, submitted by Keops TV. Um, in which we give you five minutes and a budget of $5,000 to pick out a wheel, tire, suspension package from FeminIndustry.com for a random card that I will tell you now. 5000 5000 Wow. Five big ones. <laughs> All right. All right. Perfect. And that car is the 2016 Subaru WRX. All right. All right. And the time is starting now. All right. It's 2016 Subaru WRX. All right. So 2016 Subaru... WRX. It's not fair. I'm on a Mac. I don't know how to use this. So I'm actually going to hop over to the gallery first because I don't own a WRX. I've never looked up research for a WRX, so... Alright, I can do this. So the 16 is an all-wheel drive, like, daily driver in my eyes. So I think I would want to keep that functionality. So I think I'm going to go with, like, something, probably coilovers, not air but I'm gonna get some gnarly ass tires and some good old fashioned wheel skis. So it looks like 18 by nine and a half is what a lot of people are rolling with. 18 by nine, 18 by nine and a half. This guy's running a 19 by 10 plus 25. I think I'm gonna roll with that because I wanna go more of a stance route with this. I got it, all right. So I'm gonna go wheels and tires. Oh boy, okay, okay, okay. I am gonna go with some Koenigs. So plug in 19. That's 18 by nine and a half plus 35. But I'm gonna go with a little bit of a pokier setup, give it a little bit more aggressive. I'm gonna go down to a 25 offset. Ooh, I like these clutch wheels. These clutch wheels are great. It's a plus 40. I wanna go with a little 19 by 10 plus 30. That'll work perfect. Yeah, this definitely needs to be a more aggressive offset. We're gonna add some tires to this. Um, and you're halfway there. Oh, sh there's wheels, tires, and suspension, right? Yep. So I'm going with the, the clutch cam 20s, bronze 19 by 10 plus 30, and then Hankook Ventus V12s. All right, and you're halfway there. Oh, man. Let's do some Michelins. Oh, <laughs> I'm golden. I'm golden, boys. You got nothing to worry about, okay? You got nothing to worry about. So right now I'm sitting at 1776. So this is a budget of 5,000? Yep. Going the air route for sure. I'm going with the, th oh, that's a big push. I'm going with the 3H. That'll be cutting it close. I got, I got it. Suspension. Uh, you may think I have no idea what I'm doing but I do. Um, how much time? You have one minute left. Oh, one minute. Three, 27, 3700, this is. All right, and time. And time. All right. <laughs> that flies, man, holy crap. <laughs> Usually, usually I'm not limited on like, I'm just like browsing through parts all day, but holy crap. All right, and it looks like your grand total came out to $4,099. Hey, that's not too so. bad. I don't think that's too bad. You yep. know, I think for a good set of tires, a good set of wheels and coilovers all at the same time, could you probably go cheaper? Absolutely. You could probably get some like Nankangs or something and probably would have cut that down to like 33. But I think that if you want something that's gonna be really functional, and like get the job done. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you that I that I picked the perfect setup, but I mean, I picked the perfect setup. And that came out to 4,825. 
Yes. <laughs> so close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nice. So who, who am I going up against? Oh, so it says here you're going against ah, Alex from Pittman Industry. Of course. It sounds like what these guys are going to do is they're going to go take our uh, builds into the lab and see kind of what they look like uh, on an actual Subaru. And then Gels and I are going to argue and battle to the death because there can be only one Highlander in this building and it is going to be me. And we're going to see what you guys think, which one looks better. So uh, let's go. So we are back and we just did the video where we got to talk about how we would build a car for $5,000. Now I'm just going to just start this right off the bat and say that mine is better. Right? So let's go through the basics on what we chose. Okay. And then the pros and cons. And then you guys in the comment section can let us know who you think built the better car. <clears throat> no big deal. Whatever. I'm just very competitive in nature. All right, so let's go through it. You want to start off, Gels? What did you what did you build? Sure. So I picked the clutch KM20s. Okay, so like a thinner thinner spoke. Double yeah, spoke of, style yeah. thing, right? 19 by 10. Okay. Plus 30. And then I went with Ventus V12s, so I could go with air suspension. <laughs> <laughs> You're bagging your Subaru I'm bagging on some that. KM20s. Yep. Why? I thought it looked good. Baller? <laughs> I, looked, I was on the second page, I looked at how much time I had left, I'm like, hey, those look good. All right, all right. <laughs> about the gist of that. So then I have, for mine, I picked some Koenigs. Right? Were they Koenigs? Were they Hypergrams? Ampliforms. Ampliforms. I picked some Koenig Ampliforms. And then I picked Michelin Pilot Sport of course. 4S's because Michelin, right? And then I saved a little bit of extra money and I went with some uh, just normal coilovers. I think it was Tane okay. Flex Z's. Uh, so I was at, my budget was right around 4100 when I was all said and done. Do you sure. remember what mine was, was that? Mine was 47. 4800 So with, uh, you, I have $700 to spare right. <clears throat> with mine. Why do you think yours is better? Um, I just like that style of just general like stance on this model or a like, year of the Subaru. Sure. Um, I just think they look good, just bagged or just lowered really mm -hmm. low for, I mean, in general. Um, when I was going through the gallery, because that's where I started with, I, yeah. I just brought up the gallery because I didn't know what fit, you know, like what to be looking for. And I saw a guy running 19 by 10 plus 25s and they looked really good, but he was on mm -hmm. coils. Sure. So I, I, I figured if I could save enough money and put it on bags. So for $5,000, you got yourself a full, you got yourself yeah. a, a full Instagram, full build yeah. as they would say, <laughs> wheels, tire, suspension. Yep. And then I went with coilovers, mm -hmm. went with more of a meteor setup, went with more of, I would say like a, a I don't know, like a functiony yeah. setup. So just something that I knew would behave that well. That looks and good, daily driver. Those tires just never really let go of anything unless it's in the snow. So sure. if, unless they're, I mean, cold, they really don't, they're really a good tire. Yeah. So I think that's what we, we ended on, right? Yep. So we've got the clutch KM20s on air with some Ventus V12s, V12s. Yep. versus your Koenigs, your Ampliforms. I think I went with a, I think I only went with like an 18 or 19 by eight and a half. It wasn't anything crazy. I think it was like a plus 35. So nothing too extensive on that. Mm -hmm. And then the Michelin Pilot Sports and then some Tane for coilovers. So you guys let us know in the description below which one you would run. And then of course, let us know what you want us to like, I don't know, battle off on the next one and let us know what you guys think about that. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're looking to get your car on some wheels, tire suspension, regardless, and if you like air suspension or coilovers, FitmanIndustries.com. You can literally do what we just did, except probably less competition because everything that I'm involved in is a competition, no matter what. It could be making ramen. It could be building a hypothetical car I'll never own. It's just, it's good sport, right. like soccer. Yeah. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. I'm Gels. And we'll see you later. Peace.